Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first investigative stream. It is time to investigate. I am here in my investigative attire. Time to investigate an indie game today. So today we're going to be playing a little game called Witch Punk. Ooh, I love the vibe already. Oh, that that feels good. Oh yeah, I love that already. The aesthetic, very vibrant. I I love this like art style. I'm loving this like minimalistic art style. I think it really works for the the cinematics. Kind of reminds me of like the old Sly Cooper. Oh, oh, this is cute. I know, right? It has a hundred reviews on Steam. This reminds me of like the super old uh, backyard skateboarding game. And I love that game to death. I played that when I was a kid and it still holds up so well. This is exactly the the style. There's a lot of stuff to take in. Oh, there's magic. Okay. Oh, double jump. Nice. I think you can grind. Let's see. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, this is ooh, nice. I I do like when video games kind of like combine genres. So this is like a skateboard beat em up, which honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen that kind of style before. So I am like interested in this concept for sure. Instead of a run and gun, it's a skate and break. <laughs> Oh, I love that. that. That's such a good analogy. So we have a beam that uses mana, which is a projectile, a classic punch. So the lore is going to be in text boxes, it seems, which is totally fine. The very lighthearted comedic nature of the dialogue. I think that's a really nice feature. A skate and break visual novel. So there's a few ways to attack the enemies. That's nice to no. know. I can just charge attack and then one shot of enemy variants which keeps combat a little bit more interesting than just uh ground creatures that's nice yeah if i kill i get points okay that makes more sense because sometimes i feel like with with indie games it's a lot about art style and sometimes there's like hardly any substance this one i'm kind of feeling in the middle on like i'm i'm really enjoying it but it seems just like a simple beat em up which is totally fine but maybe I'm just like way too early into the game to tell. Oh, also this game is free on Steam. I forgot to mention that as well. Ooh, I'm going so fast. Oh, that's satisfying. I like that. If you have any indie game submissions, be sure to leave them in the panel down below. Uh, I'm gonna get to those at some point, but I'm trying to find like unknown indie games like this uh, that like literally nobody is playing. Cause that's kind of the goal with gems of the internet is like trying to find these super obscure but like really cool things it's more so like combat focus instead of like tricks usually if something is like under a thousand reviews on steam it's pretty obscure so that's going to be a lot of those games we try on stream whoa did you just say exterminate that's a doctor who reference that's <laughs> oh that's beautiful oh i love that that pulled me in more that's great <laughs> what in the dalek is going on i know right i was not expecting that i love that you see me i just like destroyed six enemies at once oh i wish it had a little bit more variety with gameplay but yeah it's a, it's a fun little free game uh, it's a, it's a good like time waster. I like those games because I like to watch like super long YouTube videos, right? And so a game like this to like keep my hands busy and just like occupy me while I'm like listening like a super long YouTube video. This is like perfect for that. So I'll probably definitely come back to this game. This feels kind of like a roguelike a, li a little bit. I think the other downside is the fact that this is like nine gigabytes and for nine gigabytes, this isn't a whole lot of content, which is totally fine. I think it's mostly because of the art style and the fact that it's 3D and there's a lot that's like generated in this world. So I get that, but I kind of wish- Where are the other 8 GB of game? Yeah, I, I think it's going all to like literally the scenery and the enemies. I kind of wish there was either more levels or like a different game mode so you can like switch up the flow of the game, which I think would be kind of nice. Because once you get to the flow state of the game, you're like, oh, okay, this is the game now. Like, I was kind of expecting, like, a story mode, which I guess there technically is a story mode. 
but it's kind of it kind of feels second place to like the combat which is totally fine this is definitely a, a combat centered game but i do appreciate that there's a little bit of dialogue to like keep you engaged in the story i'm like 30 minutes in and i feel like i understand the game 30 minutes of gameplay and then you kind of like understand it so now all you have to do is just like continue to survive and get more kills and then progress the story the thing is like there's so many enemies that like when you die and you have to restart you have to kill like so many enemies to like get back to where you are so this is very much like a a roguelike style game. I kind of wish there was a little bit more variety. This was a university final project for a group to graduate. Oh, really? That's cool. So, like I said, there's like a hundred reviews on Steam. It's by 99% Funk, which is DigiPen Institute of Technology, and they've made quite a bit of games, honestly, which is interesting to see. Okay, it's because it's DigiPen Institute of Technology. So that's what all these games are under, right? It's an action beat em up sports 3D third person. I'd argue it's also roguelike as well. It's by 99% funk, but when you click that, it's DigiPen Institute of Technology. I, I think this is their only game because it kind of goes to the publisher afterwards because all of these are the same publisher. So I assume from what I'm seeing at least that this is a uh, the, their only game list of games developed by there we go <laughs> it's just the one it's literally just the one this is their only game which is for for a first game i will say i am actually very impressed i think it's a really fun game i think the only problem is there's not a lot of variety and it's not super deep it works for what it is. It's a roguelike. So you're gonna like play it over and over again. It's a survival type game. Totally fine. I think it kind of works for the style. I was kind of expecting a little bit more and I was expecting more of like a fleshed out story narrative, but it's not, it's like a survival type game, which is cool. I think it really works for what it is. I love the integrated art style of how it's like super neon infused, super like hyper in terms of gameplay and just how like vibrant everything is. I, I, I love it. I think it really stands out, really pops. Like even this like cover art, I love it so much. It's so satisfying to look at. The thing with developers and publishers, this is how I understand it and maybe I'm wrong, but the developer is the one who like makes the game and the publisher is the one that like markets it and like helps a little bit with development but like they're mostly like on the finished end they're like trying to push the game they're trying to like host the game so people actually see it that's why devolver digital is huge because a lot of people develop under them so that way when they make the game it's under the developer name uh or the publisher name as well so that way it gains like more attention basically so there's a lot of games under this looks like they're a college in washington it's a game school a lot of these games are under this that is really cool i like that so that means all of the games under this developer name it's actually college students that is really cool i i like that a lot trying it's to get their graduate project yeah exactly that's a really cool uh thing that i've never actually seen before on steam and then all these students like publishing under like the college name in terms of like video games specifically i don't know if i've ever seen that before that's really cool to discover thank you for bringing that up 104 games oh it seems like some of them are soundtracks okay so that means the number is going to be less breadsticks what is this speed-based platformer with throwable platforms i'm wondering if these are all free games because if they're all free games that would make it a lot easier fox. to make a video about fox <laughs> right so it says that there's throwable platforms that's kind of cool i do like that concept that's that's pretty neat but it seems like that there's about a hundred of these games with different styles different genres all under the college name so this starts in 2018 all the way up to oh gosh last month they're still like going 101 games all free oh they all they are free dang it now i found another video topic <laughs> great how lovely <laughs> this is wonderful <laughs> why do i do this to myself so everybody who's watching the uh the stream highlight right now if you're interested in witch punk you can either play that or you can go to digipen Uni institute of technology on steam 
and there are about a hundred free games that you can play right now on Steam. So definitely check that out. That is really cool. I'm definitely going to look into this further. That is really cool. I'm kind of tempted to play one of these games. Oh, tag is art. Wait, I love this game. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I have, I, I love this game. I didn't know this was by the same publisher. Okay, so this game is really fun. A first person parkour type game where you have to use paint to traverse the world in interesting ways. It's super simplistic, you know, it's not like that impressive visually, but it's more fun to play than it is to watch, I will say. It's kind of like Portal, it's kind of like Mirror's Edge, except with like paint. And I think that concept is really, I love this game. This is a really fun, like mindless game to play. This video isn't about this, but this is also a really good game that I do recommend if you want like first person parkour puzzle kind of game. Game Development World Championship student game award finalist oh that's cool so they got nominated that is amazing okay so max stucker game design it seems like that this is the the guy or at least helped with it was created over the course of three academic semesters by a team varying of 10 to 26 people okay so smaller studio technically i was the creative director and systems designer for the game okay so we found max who helped work on this as a creative director and systems designer on which punk i accomplished the following this kind of reads like a portfolio few pieces of witch punk's internal system documentation that i created to aid development this literally looks like a google doc <laughs> but that's cool oh wow they may have had to build this type of site as part of the project i've had to do this myself oh you've had it okay that makes sense yeah no that that's very fair this this is a lot of a lot of detail it's way too much to read because <laughs> then it would get boring but that i appreciate that there's this much effort being shown spreadsheets oh i love a good spreadsheet systems and level designer with a bachelor of arts in game design from the digipen institute of technology okay so we were right on that i've had a passion for creating games for as long as i can remember and am taking my first steps towards my goal of a career in game development well Witch Punk is a really good game, really fun. So I hope you make some more really good games. Currently working full-time as a game designer on an unannounced project. Ooh, that'll be fun. Feel free to reach out for any reason. Raccoon in Paradise, other game that's listed on this site. Oh, I can download from the Digipen Game Gallery. We can play it on stream. <laughs> An objective-based game where you have to steal a croissant and then run away. As, as simple as this is, it, it, it's always really fun to go back in a developer's history and look at like the old games they've made and see like what they've made now this was before witch punk i believe i also love to look at the like the development uh cycle of games and see like where they started do you see how like super simple this is where it just gets like the basic concept and then they flesh it out from there i think this is a cute game it only has 100 reviews on steam which is so incredibly low and I feel like it deserves way more for what it is. I love it. It's, it's a really fun game and it's free on Steam.